guys welcome back to the channel today i'm gonna compare two ob2 readers that well the old one that i had with a new one that i got um which is called uh let's see uh so the old one i had was the harbor freight one this one item number nine eight six one four i've had this for years it's been very helpful it's hardwired um works pretty well uh it's from centec so that's the man. The new one that I got is the Blue Driver, which is a Pro Scan tool. Uh, it's supposed to give you more details on how to fix the problem, and it's Bluetooth. Yeah. So we're gonna try both and see which one works best or which one gives you more details. And here's my son. Mm -hmm. So let's get to this, guys. Let's see which one works best. Okay, guys, uh, I am going to use my 2006 Toyota Sienna, which uh, I just bought about a few months ago. You know, we needed a car in California. I didn't want to rent one because it was so expensive, so I just bought one. And this thing, when I bought it, had about 179,000 miles on it. And, you know, whatever the guy did, he tricked the system one way or another, or he had hookups to make the check engine line go away for a long long time so and what happened was the check engine light came on and here we are so i just plugged in the old ob2 sensor in we're gonna turn the car on the check engine should be going off but look at that guys the check engine is on so now we're gonna go read the code i'm gonna press enter i don't know if this is gonna focus Let's see. There we go. So diagnostics. Um, are you still up, Bubba? Yeah. Are you still in need of drugs? What are you doing to the car? We're trying to fix the car. Why? So we're going to erase the previously stored data. Two codes found. Enter. Then we're gonna read code, which is gonna be uh, P4 P0420, which is the catalyst system efficiency below threshold bank one and bank two. So how do I go? How do I go on the other side? Which side? Out, you could open the door. Pull that handle. Uh huh. Pull it. Pull it. Yeah. You're pushing. Nico, this way. Pull it out. Yeah, you go. Now push the door. There you go. See? I got it. Good job. I want to go be like that. Okay, so this is the P30. So now. Let's see if there's any pending codes, which there shouldn't be any pending codes. Uh, which will give you the same thing, the catalyst system. Um, we're not going to do erase code because I want the other, I want to test the other one. So we're going to view live data. So let's see what the data is going to say. View data. Complete data set. So, um, let me start the car. No, no. Oh no, oh no. Let's see, DPC, CNT. So we have good reading here. RPM 809, 818. That the coolant temperature seems like the coolant temperature is a one or two. The car is still cold. Yeah, it's still too cold. <laughs> so. 
this is the live data guys this is coming straight from the engine bay and so pretty normal stuff all right so now we're gonna use the new one which is the blue driver and that one's ran by the app so you're not gonna have this big thing handle on this big thing so we're gonna use the phone to actually look at all the data so let's do that and come back okay guys so this is the blue driver this is how big it is and this will get connected to the port so on this car is down here and if you guys can see it somewhere down here so you just plug it in you're supposed to get a blue light and once you get the blue light you're gonna get to your phone you're gonna have to connect this to your Bluetooth first so let's do that there you go blue drive you connect that pair all right so that's not paired then you're gonna go to you're gonna download the app Seatbelt. blue driver Seatbelt. Blue driver app. I already downloaded it, so we're gonna open. Let's see. Um, don't have. Mama, how do you download this? All right, so Nico, one second, Daddy. Connecting to sensor. All right, uh, that one away. It says connected right there. And now let's go read codes. Well, what do you put the tissue? Check engine light. What do you put the tissue? Oh, in trash. What? What is it? Four codes found. Interesting. Um, it's asking for me to put the mileage so let's see how many miles the car has now 100 183 352 continue all right so so the four codes are found it's the same one basically p0420 catalyst system efficiency below threshold but this thing is supposed to give you the Wait, fix, supposedly. Pro Mom, tip, tap that? the share button. Before using the, before using the blue driver repair database, you must read and agree, read now. You know, we, we're gonna, you know, share our life's data with these people, so accept. Retrieving report, there we go. Very common with this car. Uh, we recommend using only high quality for OEM replacement catalytic converters. Otherwise, the lack of sufficient rare earth metal may cause your vehicle to think the converter is not working effect effectively after replacing. Okay, so and what it does, it gives you top reported fix, replace catalytic converter, replace oxygen sensor, frequently reported fix, and it gives you the video on how to repair it. Um, this is kind of cool. So I'll tell you that. So let's go on number two, which should be the same. Commonly reported, very commonly, very common. And replacement catalytic converter. You click on that. It'll take you to the Amazon store. So let's see what recommendation it gives you. That's taking too long. Internet in California is super slow, which is very surprising to me. All right, so we go back. So here, we're going to do clear codes. All codes. So let's do all codes. Check on July should go bye-bye soon. Oh wow, this is 
This takes a. Can I walk on the trunk? Yes, you can. But how do I get? All right, with the so here's the difference with the OB2 sensor, the the hard wire, it's I almost go? immediate. This one is, I think, it's uh, wiping down everything. Because this one is gonna take a while. So let this finish, and we'll be right back. Okay, so it took about five minutes or so for it to clear the code. And uh, you guys saw this interface already. So there's not gonna be any code. It's gonna have save reports. You're gonna click on save reports. Uh, it's gonna give you the save scans and repair reports. You know, you're gonna have those two um, codes that was on there. The cool thing about this is that it'll give you like the vehicle information right here vehicle specification gives you everything about the vehicle um also it has this thing it's called for smog check so for the smog check what it does you could hit the scan button right here what it does it'll scan and I'll tell you if your car is ready for a smog check. And if there's that explanation point right there, it'll tell you that it will not pass smog check unless those have clear. So the so at this moment, the catalyst, the evaporation system, the oxygen sensor, basically the computer needs to cycle for about, I don't know, about 100 miles or whatever for it to be able to, uh, to for you to be ready to go do the smog check. So with this car's issue, the check engine might kick back in before these things can clear so um, and it has the live no data sources to grab please select one or more data source by tapping okay so let's tap that so you could do fuel system you know you could do all you check all this best quality so you can only do five at a time so let's see one two three four five you're gonna go back and there you go engine coolant temperature 185 short-term fuel trim bank 1.6 long-term fuel trim bank 10.8 percent calculate engine load value 33 percent so let me rev the engine let me see So it gives you live reading, which is pretty cool. Um, so this is, um, it's a lot more detailed than the OV2 sensor I had from uh, Harbor Freight. Um, the live feature is pretty cool. Um, Let's clear all this. Engine RPM, vehicle speed, time advance, intake air temperature, and mass airflow rate. Let's see what that gives us. There we go. So, intake temperature 135 Fahrenheit, trim advance, and we're at 714 RPM, vehicle speed zero. So, this is pretty cool, guys. So. See, there you go. So, there you go. That's you get your live performance right there. So, there's a lot you can do with this thing. Kind of like it. So, um, uh, hopefully, this was helpful for you guys. Uh, I like it. Uh, it's about 80 bucks. I will leave the uh, link down below for you guys to get one I think right now it has a it's typically 119 bucks and I got this it had a $20 clip-on coupon on Amazon that you could click and get it so for a very portable um, compact device it does give you a good reading um, only thing is it takes a while for it to clear the code which is not bad i mean like four or five minutes is not a bad deal the ob2 sensor does it a lot faster 
you know, by click a button, it clears all the codes a lot faster. This one takes about five minutes. And you need to keep the engine on while it's clearing the code until it finishes. So uh, leave your comments down below. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'll be happy to answer your questions. Uh, other than that, please share, subscribe, and hit the like button. Also hit the bell button so you guys will be notified when I post another video. Take care.